welcome to Shamrock Rovers Fan TV. Now today I have my match preview for Shamrock Rovers against Sligo Rovers. Now first of all in the video I want to say I'm recording this before the match but Dundalk are playing in Europe and if they win it they're in the group stages so I want to wish the best of luck to Dundalk. Let's hope they can get into the group stages for the second time in four years. Now I'm going to talk about last time we played Sligo it was a 3-2 win but I think we played better. We've definitely played better than them. But I think 3-2 didn't really resemble the score, as I think we did play better. We played very well, Jack Byrne had a great game, so did Gary O'Neill. Everyone had a great game, but I thought they were the two standout players. Um, Stigel got a penalty, which was very questionable. I don't think Pico Lopez touched him one bit, um, but it was given and it was a good penalty. Ronan Coughlin was very good that game, but I thought we were the better team, and everyone would say we were the better team. The fans were always so brilliant, they were very loud. Um... And Sligo fans are always good, obviously. I think no one has a bad atmosphere in this league. Every team is good, but I thought our fans stood out that day. There was a lot of them there. And normally when we play Sligo, a lot of them turn up. And it's not really a derby, but a lot of the time they do turn up. Now, as I've been saying, we need to keep off our head that we could win the league. Just get that completely out of our mind and just win this game. And, the same, and then think about it maybe after, like, oh, look, we're nearly there. But just get it out of your brain for each match and just play it like a normal game. Because sometimes the pressure can get to you and I really hope that doesn't happen. I don't think we're going to let this go now. We've came so we've come so far this season and that win against Sligo was big. That was the last game before lockdown happened due to COVID-19. But I think winning this game would be massive. Sligo are on a great run. They're going for Europe now. They're even going to get higher than Dundalk. It is looking like now Dundalk are switching on um, and they're doing well now but they're they're doing very well and they're probably having a better season than Undock and a lot of teams when I say they're having a better t season as they wouldn't imagine to get Europe most people had them to go down which eh, it's massive like they have brought in a couple of good players junior um coming in was big for them well Parks going was a big loss but they replaced him in junior and he's been great Will Seymour has also been very good for them. They brought him in um, at the start of the season and he's been brilliant. So I still go are going to stay up and anyone could go down. Like Derry could go down if they keep up the losses and Cork win and Finn Harps win. Derry could easily go down or even get ninth. So they every team needs to watch themselves, even Sligo. Now let's get into my squad for the game. In goal, Alan in a 5-4-1 formation. This man is brilliant. He won... A player of the month last year. Remember, you can go vote for the Shamrock Rovers on TV. Shamrock Rovers player of the month on my Twitter poll. There's four options. Well, one is well, they're comment below. The other is Danny Lafferty, Roberto Lopez, and Jack Byrne. Make sure you go do um. Make sure you go vote on that. And um, I think Alamanis. It's simple, really. He has to start. And his left wing back Neil Ferrugia now. Danny Lafferty is set to be back, but I personally wouldn't play him. Because I think we have more important games coming up. Obviously, this is very important. But I think if we can win this, the rest of the games, I think, could be more key than this game. Really, like, it doesn't all add up. But when you think about it, I'd actually rather rest him for this game than have him for the more games. Because you don't want to risk it either. And we still have FAI Cup games to play. Now, obviously, we won't be thinking about that. But we still do have that. And we need players and he's been brilliant. He's in the he's in the poll for um for player of the month. And our right wing back, Ronan Finn, the last couple of games he's been electric up and down that right hand side. He's probably last few seasons been the best centre mid in the league. For him to switch to a right wing back and just do brilliant there automatically is just insane. He's a brilliant player and a leader on the pitch. And at the first centre back, Liam Scales, he had a very good game against Dundalk. So I do think he has to start. Joby also had a good game. Uh, Pico didn't play. But I think I'll talk about Pico getting back into the squad in a minute. But I'll go with Liam Scales personally. And also Lee Grace. He did very well against Lundock. Now he had Odua who has so much pace. He had to mark him. And I think Lee Grace wouldn't have really expected to have that much pace. Uh, usually you wouldn't think he's very fast. But he did brilliant keeping up with Odua in that game. And in the last centre-back, unfortunately, I'm going to have to drop Joey O'Brien and I'm going with Roberto Lopez. Now, he didn't play against Dundalk because he picked up a knock against Waterford. And what they said was the Astro 
if you fall on your knees, it could very badly hurt you. And apparently, that's where he hurt his knees. So they weren't going to risk him. And that was probably right. As the left midfielder, Graham Burke. I think Graham's been brilliant this season. He has spells where he's disappeared from the game. But when he gets a goal, he gets he always gets one or two more. Or one or two more assists or loads of chances. But he a lot of the time takes them when he has confidence. And on the right hand side, Jack Byrne. It's a new Jack Byrne we've had this season, and I might even do a video talking about this, so stay tuned for that. But last season, he was picking out some very good passes. This season, he's got a lot of criticism, and that's probably made him better. The last few games, he's been brilliant, but he's picking out better passes, but sometimes they don't work out, which they didn't work out at the start of the season. Well, they did work out to start, but at the start of coming back for the restarts. But now when they work, they're brilliant. And as the first centre midfielder, Gary O'Neill, had a very good game against Dundalk. We keep the ball a lot more with him and Aaron McInef, um in the midfield. We keep the ball a lot more, and I've been notice noticing that. It's been completely different before when we had different players in. And we've always done well with our midfield. It's just we're keeping the ball a lot more. And as you guessed, beside him, Aaron McInef. And as I said, the same stands for him and uh, as I talked about Gary O'Neill. We were keeping the ball a lot more. Aaron McInef's really improved from when we signed him. Because when we signed him, he was this player that was a big flary player. Scored a couple of screamers from outside the box. But apart from that, he was an average player. But he's really developed his game. And up front, Aaron Green, he, the same with him. He's done really well the last few weeks. Didn't have the best restart for the restart, but I thought I think he's getting better, and I think he will continue to get better. And if he does continue to get better, he'll be brilliant. Now for my score prediction, I think it'll be two 0 Rovers. I think Garen Green will get a goal, and I think Jack Byrne. I think Jack Byrne will carry on his streak of goals and his streak of brilliant performances. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment what you what your score is and what you think on the game, and I'll see you next time. Come on, the hoops!